stuck in a classroom all the time. And uh, you know, that's why I'm kind of really passionate about these type of projects is just the way it brings the community in, it brings in the expertise, and it, and it brings results as you look at this. So I'm very, very pleased with that aspect of it. Just to talk for a minute about kind of the technical things that we've done with the portable. Uh, one of the first things we did, there's a display on the side. Is <laughs> what <are> the <laughs> Who did that? Uh, one of the first things we did was we painted the portable with ceramic paint. And there's a little display underneath the solar panels about ceramic paint. Ceramic paint was developed by NASA, and it's used in uh, Apollo and uh, Apollo Space Program, and it's used in the International Space Center. And it just reflects heat back. If you have a, a flat top stove in your house, uh, you'll notice you can put your hand on the glass part between the burners, and, and it won't be that hot. That's because that's a ceramic plate. It reflects the heat back. We put meters on the portable, and we did a test with it, and it reduced the energy cost 11% just by putting paint on the inside of the, of the portable. Uh, beyond that, we have the solar panels that we have put up. We have the windmill that we've put up, and other people will explain that with more knowledge of it. If you look around each side of the portable also, we have some student-built solar hot water heaters, and one of them is up and running, and you'll be able to test the water on it. And it's only been hooked up for about an hour and a half, too. It already has hot water. Also on this side of the portable, there is a, a solar furnace that the students made, and it was designed by a guy in Newfoundland, and um, it, it works well. Um, one thing about solar projects, uh, we have good solar here in the summer, and some of our, like that solar furnace and the solar hot water, uh, you know, they don't work so well in the winter here in Bruce County because, you know, they call this gray Bruce for a reason. But uh, we can still teach these technologies even if they're not totally applicable to this area because, you know, the world's certainly bigger than this area. So, anyways, in conclusion, um, I just can't say enough about our community partners and everything like that and that this is uh, a good community. This is a good school. We got a lot of good students here, and I'm just very proud to be part of it all. So, Mr. Day.